We just came through some pretty rough seas. Uh, we were doing about 22 knots, just plowing through some pretty rough seas, and it was, frankly, it was quite comfortable. Coming out to Key West, we ran through uh, a major storm, four foot, four foot waves, and this thing handled so well, and I never felt unsafe once, and it's the first time I've ever done a trip like that in my life. After own, uh, owning monohulls for years and years and years, and the ride is superior, it's just that simple. We chose the 54 after having the 44. We wanted the extra 10 feet of length, the extra three and a half feet of beam, and on this boat, that's a lot of room. I'm Joel Sukumel, and my Aquila 36 is called Sweetness. It's smooth, it's quiet. When we wanna want speed, we've got it. The layout is beautiful. I can't just say enough about it. The joystick docking is, is mindless. Because your engines are so far apart, it's very easy to use the engines to get in and out of slips, even without the bow thruster. It really handles incredibly well. It handles better than the 32-foot boat that we had previously. The Aquila handles excellent because the propellers are so far apart, you can kind of oppose them and maneuver. I think the feature I do love is the space. Uh, I think for the size of boat, regardless of which boat in the Aquila line you're buying, but in the 36 in particular, is you just get so much more space. You really have the space of a much, much larger monohull, and then you know that also gives you that stability of ride. We really like the fact that we can open up the galley and the salon to the aft deck. Being able to get up right to sandbars, we can come up as close as the 22-foot boats the number one standout feature that we have found is the size of the master suite. It's the entire beam of the boat, which is 21.6. King size bed, full showers, dressing room areas. The space is just incredible. You feel like you're in an apartment. This is not my first catamaran, although an Aquila was my first catamaran. So I had an Aquila 44 prior to this. I have the Aquila 36 now. I love both of them tremendously, and now I'm actually getting an Aquila 54, so I'll be in my third Aquila. We bought our first Aquila, which was the 44, but we particularly liked the opportunity to open up the galley and the salon and then have all the social aspects. This Aquila is my first catamaran, and we wanted a boat that we could go overnight in, and we wanted two separate cabins and two heads. We also wanted a boat that we could day boat with. I use my boat in a variety of different ways. I use it as a day boat, so just going out to the sandbars, but then we do longer trips. So we come here to places like Key West and Captiva. We'll spend the weekend in downtown St. Pete, and it's just the accommodations are great for that as well. We go back between Key Largo, Key West, Dry Tortugas, take it up to Miami. It's a great boat for two couples, three couples, plenty of room. For us, it's perfect. This is our third adventure. We made the crossing from Florida to Key West. Our next step from here would be then going over to the Bahamas. I love cruising on a catamaran because it is so stable. Even a size like the 36, it just feels like you're on a much larger boat from a stability perspective. The room is the number one thing. The room on this 54 is probably comparable to a lot of 70 foot plus boats that we've seen. I love the stability. When we're cruising the intercoastal, it's like you're on glass. I like the flexibility to entertain my guests, that they all have their own space and their own bathroom, and that they can really enjoy the time without feeling crowded. Our Aquila gives us the freedom to go wherever we want, whenever we want. <laughs>